Today, we'll be looking at how artificial kidneys are a step closer with this new tech. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. 10% of the global population suffers from a form of kidney disease that covers 37 million people in the U.S., 100,000 of whom die every year waiting for a kidney transplant. Our kidneys are essential to keeping us alive and safe. A type of chemical computer that holds our blood chemistry stable, whether we're consuming a sugary birthday cake or a vitamin-filled salad, prevents the buildup of waste, stabilizes our electrolyte ratios, and generates hormones to manage our blood pressure and render red blood cells. Kidneys clean our blood using nephrons, which are basically filters that allow fluids and waste products to move through while blocking blood cells, proteins, and minerals. The latter will be reintegrated into the blood and the former will leave the body in the urine. But recent discoveries made by researchers in chemical engineering at the University of Arkansas have taken the functioning of artificial kidneys one step forward. Researchers also developed a system that has been able to process blood in a manner comparable to biological nephrons. The system was identified in a recent paper published by Nature Communications Materials, which you can check out in the description below. There are two essential mechanisms that exist as blood flows into the kidneys. Second, clusters of blood vessels called glomeruli cause small molecules, waste, and water to flow through, while proteins and blood cells remain behind. The substance that goes through this first filter then flows through the nephron network, where it is further filtered into a mechanism called ion transport. Researchers work concentrated on the second phase, ionic transport. They put a porous mesh made of platinum between two ion exchange wafers to create a wafer that moves ions across membranes using an electrical field. Platinum mesh is used as electrodes when voltage is applied, allowing the team to choose various ions and change their transport speeds independently. They tested the technology for different ions and were able to effectively replicate the transport of ions through the kidneys. In their paper, the team points out that other research groups have attempted to build artificial nephrons using living cell-based systems, including stem cells, but beyond the native living world and without the physical and hormonal signals that regulate their function, biologically based systems have failed to reproduce the function of nephrons, especially ion transport. Quote, the machine could function as a standalone device or in combination with peritoneal dialysis to monitor the chemistry of treatment solutions, and small modifications to the system could allow it to act as a wearable and potentially implantable artificial kidney. In the U.S. alone, more than 93,000 people are currently on the waiting list for a kidney transplant. While a fully functional artificial kidney is probably still years away at best, scientists are making steady strides in the recreation of this essential organ. An artificial nephron, like the one discussed here, is just one piece of the complex puzzle. A working network of blood vessels is another vital piece. In 2015, scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory created bioprinted kidney tissue that reproduces some of the functions of biological nephrons. In 2016, a group at Harvard's Lewis Lab used 3D printing to recreate nephronic tubules, along with a blood flow vascular network, but they only remained alive for a little over two months. As a result, a full synthetic nature of the technologies of the Arkansas team may have a legacy of biologically inspired approaches. According to Hextine, nephron may be paired with ultrafiltration, nanofiltration, or reverse osmosis systems and inserted into the artificial kidney. With the overwhelming amount of patients in need of it, artificial kidneys can't come fast enough, and they'll be a marvel of modern medicine when they land. While it'll take some time yet, gradual change like this gives one the courage to say when instead of if. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity, and I'll see you on the next one.